That works. You should put those in your pack. Feel for today. March, what's the date even? 20th? Mm -hmm. March 20th. It's about 9 o'clock, so we got a little bit of a late start. I went out and did some scouting for some turkeys this morning. No goblin, I didn't hear any birds, nothing. Yeah, it was too cold. It's about, I don't know, probably 30 degrees frosty. So, But the sun came up and this frost is melting off, so it's time to get some boots on the ground and go find some sheds. Uh, we've out to the territory south here. There's a, a big patch of um, CRP and, and overgrown grass that they were really hanging out in, so we're probably work our way out through there and then comb through the grass and see if we can find any sheds so should be fun it's our first first shed on the year down here so there should be some around we'll, we'll see what we can find good deal yes <laughs> just spot a nice shed i'm pretty sure it's a buck i call we call a slanter um we had some encounters with him this spring or this i'm sorry this fall uh, we passed him up as a good three-year-old buck Pretty sure I just found his shed. That ain't a picture in a hand. Got that. Yes, sir. That's awesome. That's a buck that we had. Me and Matt actually both had encounters with this buck this fall. Um, I actually seen him sometime in November, just down here off the also the edge of this lake here, I had a, came in like 10 yards, it's a three year old buck, with well, feel he's three year olds on it. I don't know, he probably went about 115, 120-ish. So, this is the buck that we have high hopes for next spring, as you can tell. That's the reason why he got the name Slander, he got, it's all his times really angled front, but I had a feeling that was gonna be, this is gonna be the area we're gonna find, and this was his core, his core range very obviously this past fall, but good deal, that's awesome. That's a good start to the morning. See if we can't find it the other side around or somewhere. I don't know if by chance around or somewhere or not, but we're gonna keep looking. That's a good start. That's pretty. That's awesome. Where's the net? I don't want to spend time out here. We're never going to go into the grass right away. Sheds now with the sunshine on the way it is. Just in the sun. I mean, he's not big, but. It's a shed. It's a shed. It's so a it's shed. Like one of the and right here. Is it a matching, matching set? Matching set. Hey, he might be a shooter next year or in two years. That's the start to the day. Take it all. Picking out of the grass. Shed though. It's bone. It's bone. Long bean, nothing more other than that. Number three. He's gone. Wanna head back to the golf court and then Go back to the food plot, cross plot maybe. got back to camp after doing some shed hunting out in the fields behind camp. Uh, we did have a little bit of success, found like six sheds I think, so that was fun. 
I uh, came back and we got the tractor and the fertilizer spreader, filled it with fertilizer. Now we're going back to one of our, to two of our food plots, doing some work back there and doing some more shed hunting. So I hopefully we find something else. Beautiful day today down here in Eastern Maryland. And my tractor don't start. <laughs> Got that one out in my way. <laughs> Just put in there a food plot and I found this little thing in the food plot. So yeah, it's big enough over there. Okay, it's, the hey, it's a shed. Oh, I would just put that. Well, while he's spreading some lime. I'm gonna step back here in the woods and see if I can find any sheds. That slanter. Yeah. You got to be yep. kidding me. What? That's like half That's a mile like apart. That's a half a mile apart. Steve literally found the other side of this guy. I mean, way on the other side of our farm. On just what in an open you area. Saying? Yep. I have no idea how I even stumbled <laughs> upon it, but. What are the chances? I know. I don't know, I was just laying, there's like a high spot back there. Yeah. And there's trills yeah. going through it. Yeah. So I just went walking back through the high spot and then it was just laying right like that. What? Yep, <laughs> I freaked out when I saw who it was. That's like. That's like how in the world. <laughs> that's literally, it's like half a mile apart, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. birds. What in the world? It's pretty sweet. That is sweet. <coughs> out in the field I'm in back in the woods working my way out towards the edge I think I just heard him holler so maybe he found another shed we'll work my way out there I want to see what he got we're on a roll yep stand right out, right out there see that's that it's one of the eight points it's not the seven yeah, point is, is it huh? no I'm trying to think here's that sticker down on the base I know not sure. Found the five point side. Oh, the wide pot yeah. five point. What the world? That's awesome. Where was that? Right inside the woods there. Just soon after I split off from me, I was just right inside the, off the trail. Oh, I see. Where was that one then? Just right there. Right there. I came walking through the bean field now. I just saw it land right there. Hmm. Good deal. Yep, birds. Well, there's number six for me for the day. Just found another small one. Ah. Good deal. I had a pretty good day so far. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. We got a few small rounds here yet, then we gotta go back to the farm and and go try to plant a clover plot. So gotta keep on moving. I'm here. How do you even see that? I have no idea. <laughs> it's a Good big old spike. You don't want to ride a big old spike. Where's his neck? <laughs> Alright, so we did a little bit of shit hunting this morning. Just got back to a quick lunch break. And now we're going to go out and do a small. Uh, we got about two acres probably of clover we're going to plant. Uh, it was a little wet this morning, but the sun came out and got a little breezy, so I'm pretty sure it's dry enough to go out and do that. It's March 20th, so I might think it'd be a little bit early, but we're down, we're in Maryland here, so we're south fairly far. Um, I think we'll be okay to, to put it in, so we're going to go down and try to mow. we got some corn, standing corn we need to mow down, then we take a hire and a cully pack over top and <clears throat> work it up and try to get the clover in the ground, so we'll see how it works out.
All right, well, that worked out pretty good. Um, if just down here in Maryland, we'll, we'll right now, the soil is soft enough that you can basically take a, a harrow over this stuff and it just works it up. So that worked good. The moisture was about right. It's maybe a little bit wet, but the sun shining bright, it should dry out. So I went over the hire and the clay packer. Matt went over and spread some lime on it. Um, and now he's planting the seeds. So it actually worked out really nice. So hopefully we'll get a nice stand of clover coming up this spring. Um, this spot. Right up in there, the tree right there, where we have a st where we have a stand hung, and then back in here is where a lot of our deer come out and they feed out towards the ag, which is out beyond here's a little small lake, a small lake right here, and then beyond that is a large ag field. So we're after we're after a couple buck. Hopefully this fall, uh, we actually found that one's matching shed, set of sheds today. Uh, we called him Slander. He was a three, maybe a four year old buck last fall. I actually encountered him in this exact spot last fall during the rut. But our plan is we set this up properly and we have an opportunity at him or another big nine point that was frequenting this area this fall too. So those are probably our two main hit listers. There's probably two main buck that we're setting this up for. This is only the start of our work down here in this area. Um, Planting this one clover plot and then out beyond this lake yet yeah, we have some CRP and high grasses we want to plant and some crops and trills we need to cut and whatnot. But we've decided while we were down we're gonna try to get this clover plot in and get it planted and hopefully it'll come up. So we'll see what happens. It's a beautiful, beautiful spot. It's, it's one of your one of your ultimates, one of your perfect setups that you're gonna dream of. So we'll see how it works out. Get a get all on pretty evenly. Yeah, I did. Yeah, definitely got a little more down here than up there, but yeah, yeah. yeah. Spot could be a trip of this stuff, guys. All the way down. Yeah. I love this spot. Oh, I, every time I work. Standing here, right here, and looking at it. Every time I work down here, anyway, I can just, just kind of dream of what it could be if I you know. just keep improving it. I know. There's a lot of work that can be done. It is. Well, I guess this is the start of it. Okay, let's get out of here.